the historical peace process and democratic political change, establishing the republic, democratic republic and socialism oriented inclusive democracy and promulgation of new constitution, Nepal is focusing on economic development, prosperity, purchasing the rights of the people as expected from political change and thus consolidating these achievements. To this end, Nepal is in need of international cooperation, including FDI. In view of this, Nepal has been pursuing a business and investment friendly policy. We have made major reforms in our investment design that encourages, promotes, and protects foreign direct investment. Our tax apps are one of the lowest and our policy is clearly good in ease of doing business. There are a host of areas, including hydropower, industrial manufacturing, infrastructure development, tourism, agriculture, minerals, and mining, and others to make investment in Nepal. Our laws were in full repatriation of income on from investment. Foreign companies registered in Nepal can process own and sell land. No discrimination is made between national and foreign investors. There is no policy of nationalization of private industry. The other factor that makes a business competitive in Nepal is the availability of a less expensive course. Reform labor laws and improve industry relations. We are seriously working on further simplifying the procedures and fully operationalizing the one stop service. Necessary rules are being developed for the automatic approval of FDI as well. For this, I call upon business people from China as well as from abroad to attain this international fair to avail themselves for opportunities unfolding in Nepal. Similarly, I ask you all to visit Nepal and experience for yourself and for your near and dear ones the real natural beauty, cultural diversity, and a range of adventurous tourism products of Nepal offers. Certainly, you will feel a lifetime experience seeing marvelous views of medicine in our days if you are traveling from Shenzhou to Kathmandu. Lastly, I express my confidence that the new development authority of Western China, including Sichuan province and Tibet Autonomous Region of China, will provide immense opportunities for Nepal for trade, investment, tourism, ecology transfer, connectivity, and cultural exchanges, and others.